Rachel sent in a question that says, how do you change a forgotten, in quotes, forgotten admin password? I just bought, I'm guessing, a new system, and I didn't write the password down. All right, I'm suspicious already, Rachel, if that really is your name about this. This is kind of a problem, actually. If you, you had a brand new system or a relatively new computer to you, and you took it to a shop and said, I can't get in because it's password protected, you are naturally suspicious. So just be aware of this. Be aware that we see this a lot. Unfortunately, people come across laptops in ways that are less than legal occasionally. This obviously isn't the vast majority, but there is a good grouping of laptops that have been obtained in ways that probably should not be the original owner, no longer in control. But the people that have now grabbed it have realized there's a BIOS password on this. I can't get into it. I try to start it up. BIOS password doesn't work. Some laptops have ways that you can easily reset the BIOS. Some laptops absolutely do not have easy ways to reset the BIOS. In fact, it's intentionally difficult to reset the BIOS. And unless you reset the BIOS, you can't do anything else with the computer. I just talked about configuring some of these pieces in here and getting it to work properly. The BIOS isn't there. You can't configure. You can't get in. You can't start an operating system. Nothing. And that becomes a little bit of a problem. So you may want to make sure you have proof of purchase. If you are taking it in to a shop to have that done for you, that may be something that will help you. Just giving you a warning sign because some places don't even do it. They say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you ran across that. We're just not going to do it. We don't do it for anybody um, because they just never know what they're getting into and they don't want to be party to anything that might be uh, illegal or ill-advised. So very, very simple to, to look at that. So when, maybe it's not the BIOS password you were talking about, Rachel. Maybe the problem was an administrative password to the operating system. Obviously, our operating systems these days expect us to log in. These are multi-user operating systems. You have a username. You have a password. Unless you remember the username and password, you're in trouble. Now, there, there are some things that a very, very well-honed uh, engineer may be able to start up a live CD or a live DVD that would have utilities that have the ability to change passwords in the Windows operating systems. This is not a, a fantastic thing to do if you happen to have encrypted parts of the drive. Because when you change the password, it effectively nukes everything, including your certificates. You don't have a way to get back to those old certificates because those are using the same password as your old password. So if you're doing encryption, that's not a good situation. If you don't have access to somebody who can do that in the operating system, it effectively is a restart of the system. You're going to have to put on and reload the operating system again to get back to that. So not the easiest situation when you forget your passwords on your computer. There are some ways around it. In some cases, it's a simple tweak. In some cases, it's a complete reload of the operating system. All well, Kat also mentions, a very good example, is that there are recovery disks you can create. Completely forgot about that one. Good example. In the control panel of your Windows operating system, you have the ability to create a recovery disk. And that sometimes not exact. used to be very easy to do that. Does anybody have a floppy disk anywhere? Anyone? Sarah? Is there a floppy disk? <laughs> anybody have any? I don't have any. I'm not even sure where, where I put all of mine. Did I throw them all away? I have no idea. That becomes difficult, too. Some of those can write to a writable CD-ROM. But again, that, that involves other things. Uh, it may be, especially in Windows 7, you do have the option for USB. That's probably your best bet. So older systems, we're expecting that. But your latest operating systems, plug in your USB drive and save it to that. Uh, that's really the best way to do it. USB drives are not the most reliable form of storage. So make sure you have multiple copies of that so that you're backed up and you can recover from that password. In the case of Rachel, the she bought the system didn't have the password, can't get into it. So therefore, you aren't able to create a recovery because you can't get into the operating system in the first place to create the recovery. That's something you absolutely should be doing before you run into this problem.